Hi, this is a case study about influenza, how important it is to prevent it and how to prevent it. The presentation will be done by myself, Dee Dee Love, Priscilla Lazar, and Amber Olson. Flu-related deaths are very difficult to estimate because we, most physicians don't report flu as the cause of death. Usually these um, complications caused by the flu or what end up causing the death like pneumonia, sepsis, other infections. Um, and the people most susceptible to these are people with lowered immune systems, usually the elderly or the very, very young. And we don't, we just don't have a good estimate, but some studies have been done and they range anywhere from 3,000 to 49,000 per year in the United States. That's a lot, but it's not a very good record and it may be even more than we realize. So you're not going to hear enough in this presentation that prevention is the key, prevention. Um, you'll find out a little bit more about how to prevent it a little later on in this presentation. The flu is spread by um, droplets. Uh, People are talking, sneezing, coughing, and those droplets spray onto surfaces. We touch them with our hands, and if we don't have proper hand hygiene, uh, we rub them in our eyes, mouths, nose, and we catch the flu. Uh, and they can also be, the droplets can be inhaled as well. Uh, they can be spread from up to six feet away. So, um, so prevention is really important. Uh, also, you can spread the flu one day before you even get the symptoms. Um, you can spread it seven days after you have recovered from the symptoms and children can even spread it longer. So grandparents really need to be careful with children that have recently had the flu. Again, prevention, prevention, prevention.